Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. I'm going to do a fun uncut video for you today because on this channel we upload one beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece each week. This video is uncut. Like I said, and in this uncut video, I'm going to do a little update on all the snakes that are right here in front of me. And I'm gonna pull them all out without a hook. And actually one of these snakes, I'm going to be giving away to a good home if you will be in attendance at the Pomona Reptile Super Show coming up next month. And if you hear any noise, my, my baby boy's <laughs> rolling around upstairs in his little walkie rolly chair right now. So it's, it's loud, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine for the purpose of this video. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull them out. We'll start at the bottom, we'll move to the top. Somewhere along here will be a snake I'm giving away. If you are ready for a good home, this snake right here actually. Um, all right, I'm not gonna use any hooks or anything. We'll see how well behaved these snakes are. Let's go. <clears throat> Starting at the bottom. You guys actually saw this snake recently. Whoa, <laughs> it's, not, it's not feeding time. This might, this might not be the best time to do this because it's like, I think all the snakes think it's time to eat. But you know, we'll just kind of work with what we got. So this here is Droplet, our beautiful Matrix Blood Python female that we produced here at Triple B. And she's looking pretty nice, looking nice and chunk chunk. And yep, we showed her in a very recent video where we did an update on all our uh, blood tails, blood tails, all our short tail pythons here at Triple B. So there she is, looking real good. Actually, she's super light right now. Um, her head is all light. Sometimes her head gets super dark and right now it's just super light. So that's cool. I probably need to turn down the exposure on this. Just one notch. <sighs> Woo, all right. Blood pythons not super easy to handle up in the air. They're, they definitely want to be on the ground. So they're, they're fun to try and handle like that. And by fun, I mean it's, it's a little bit of a challenge. All right, next snake. What's up, bud? This is Loki, our boa constrictor occidentalis, BCO, uh, also known as Argentine or Argentine boa constrictor. Very beautiful pattern on this boy, and he actually sired uh, a litter with our buddy Travis Johnson over living legless reptiles with one of his girls. And I, like a dummy, didn't keep any of the babies from that. We, I had three females as my part of the litter. And I let all three of those females go to some very happy homes. But uh, I kind of wish I would have kept one. Well, that's what happens when you are a bit of a doofus. These things, these things tend to go down. So there she, there he is in all his glory. This, we could just focus the rest of the time on this snake. I just love... Argentine boas, they have such cool patterns. They're such cool, like that demeanor is just cool. Just their, their, their feel, so strong, powerful, and, uh, and cool. And he's, he, a lot of times he's somewhat talkative, but he's not been talking recently. He's just been kind of chill, so cool. All right, uh, Loki, Loki. I actually got him from a buddy of mine who was doing the same thing that I'm doing with one of the snakes here, which is uh, giving him away to a good home, so. All right, buddy. Thanks for being chill. This next snake is probably gonna be the least, this next snake I almost always use a hook to get out and that's Frank here, one of our scrub pythons, our patternless scrub pythons. Uh, Somalia, a patternless Merauke. So let's see how Frank does without hook action. Frank, you gonna be, you gonna be okay, Frank? I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna use this piece of wood. <laughs> Here, check out that wood, Frank. Isn't that awesome? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I cheated, I cheated. I used a piece of wood. And he's actually, he's pretty chill, just went, not initially. His initial thing is like, I'm not chill. But then as soon as you get him in your hands, he's like, okay, I guess we can hang out and like, I can try and escape into the, legs of this rack. There he is. Frank. Good old Frank. He was the one that was originally 
uh, got, gotten as a male. I had gotten a pair of these with the thoughts that I would produce some more paddleless scrubs at one point. But uh, one of the quote unquote females that I was raising up turned it out to be a male. That was Annie, who became Anthony, who now resides with uh, Chris over at Heli Guy Serpents. Go check him out. He's got awesome, um, like, 3D printed perches that he makes. And I still need to get some from him. I've been meaning to for a while, and I just sometimes I just think things just slip my mind. I need to get that order placed. But yeah, there's Frank, the patternless scrub python, successfully taken out. Although cheating with his little piece of wood here, I got him out without a hook. Now it's pretty sweet. All right, Mr. Frank, you were the most of my worries as far as taking some teeth. Actually, this last snake on top here might have some teeth for me. Uh, cause I usually use a hook to get her out too. So I'm just, we're just doing freehand stuff because my hands are free and I, the camera's up here perched in a very cool spot too. It's not, not what we usually do, but I kind of like you up there camera. All right, next snake. This is Sangre. This is the father of the other blood python that we just showed droplet a moment ago. And Sangre of course belongs to Travis Johnson over Living Legless Reptiles. And we'll hopefully have a pairing this coming season that is a result of him locking up with our girl Sangria. But there he is. And now the next snake is the snake that I'm looking to rehome. And this snake is actually a snake that we, excuse me, had rehomed here about, what was that? I think that was about eight years ago now. Eight seven, something like that. Elvis, he's a super dwarf, or at least that's what he was given to us as, and I mean, he's stayed fairly small. As I mentioned, he's, he's about seven years old, actually. Uh, memory's finally cl clocking in. Um, but we're just not, you know, we don't use him in any ed educational shows, and he's just kind of been hanging out, and I'd love for a good home to be found for him outside of my home. So, Take a look at him. Oh, he's ready for some food. Let's see if we can... Okay, I'm not food, bud. Okay, there's a hand over there. Here's my hand here. It's not food. Good. Yay. I love being able to do that with any snake, really, but he's another one of the ones I, I generally use a hook just because retics have a pretty strong feeding response to start with. But uh, he's, a, he's a good snake. Stayed pretty dang small, as you can see in this uh, this shot here, maybe. Definitely not a large, um, big old mainland retic. So if that's something there, that, as you saw, pretty mild temperament, can be taken out of the enclosure uh, with your bare hands, as long as you move in kind of slow and methodically. But if this is a snake for you, then hit me up in an email or comment down below and uh, We'll get this snake to you, free of charge to the Pomona Reptile Super Show. Just gotta be a good home. I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to see a picture of that enclosure beforehand. Okay, moving to the last couple here. Here we go, another awesome snake. Midnight, we showed her off not, not but a couple few months ago. Um, of course, Jarmarcon Cooperi, Eastern Indigo Snake, one of the coolest snakes that we've ever had the pleasure of keeping here in this snake room and sometime near future find a new boyfriend for her since her boyfriend you know passed away however many years ago just haven't just kind of took the wind out of my sails for that project a little bit it was like ah, I just didn't feel like just replacing him because he was such he was like one of the coolest snakes here and I just didn't have the heart to just like well let's just get a new one and but I'm sure I, I think I'm about ready I think I'm about ready for that that next snake but there she is, Midnight, and we've got one more for you here in the very top. And we'll see if I can her, get her out without getting bit. <laughs> or maybe I'll just leave her right there. Yeah, that's a good spot. Holly, our uh, Caramel Coastal Carpet Python, produced by Travis Johnson over Living Legless Reptiles. And she's looking good. She's about... Uh, she's gonna be eight years. Oh, no, she's already eight years old and she'll be um, Nine this coming year and our buddy Riley just actually sent a mail over so at some point in the near future We'll probably start doing some pairings with her 
um, get some more caramel coastals going. And what's up, Holly? You're gonna show your head stamp off, your beautiful symmetrical head stamp. Very nice. And I'm, I'm sure if I put my hand up real fast right now, I'll get a nice feeding response bite because she looks ready. But her head stamp is her most uh, amazing feature. So we're getting a look at the best part of her right now. We don't need to see the teeth. And she's also very docile when you handle her, but like most of the snakes here, uh, extremely fast and uh, strong feeding response. So let's we'll kind of let her stay right there and I won't reach my hand over the top. All right, Holly, we'll, we'll bring you out for a little handling session later. <laughs> or, or now. <laughs> yeah, that's my face. It's not a rat, believe it or not. I know it's putting off probably quite the heat signature, but it is indeed my face. So why don't you just go on back in to your enclosure there without me having to put my hand up. How about that? Or how about this, uh, how about this Starbucks cup? There you go. Uh, just venture on back inside there. Nobody wants Starbucks for breakfast. Who would want that? Right? Nobody. Good girl. Way to go. All right. Y'all take care of each other. Wait, no. Yourselves first. Yourself first, most importantly. And then each other. And we'll see you in the next video. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha. Bye.